Are you ready? I'm ready for ready. I mean, Max. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, Molly. Hi, Max. How's it going? It is going well. I have a topic to teach you about today. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> um, this, it, it, I'm, I'm so excited. This is going to be, you're going to, you have no idea what this is going to be about. But I have a couple things, and I want to give you the chance to guess what the topic is. I love a game. I love a game. <laughs> okay. The story of our topic today began on April 24th, 1990. Mm. 1990? Mm. A okay. A long time ago. Wow. This topic weighs over 24,000 pounds. Oh my lands, but I feel like it's in the sea. The length of this topic is over 43 feet. Oh my gosh. Okay. You, yeah? You getting mm -hmm. your you, have, you still have no idea. I'm what I have questions and I'm going to try to answer them oh, for myself. Well, this is the last hint fact I'm going to give you and then I'm going to make okay. you guess. This topic travels at over 17,000 miles per hour. What? <laughs> okay. So it is this, 32 I know what this years is. old. It travels at 17,000 miles per hour. It is 43 feet long and weighs 24,500 pounds. Molly, your first guess. This is a shuttle. Is this a shuttle? No. <laughs> A Shuttles rocket ship is only 43 so. feet long? That's the world's <laughs> smallest rocket and, ship. And like the heaviest thing to try to get up and stay into the <laughs> yeah, sky. <it's> <laughs> okay. But hang on. Whoa, hang on. Oh, my hands are getting tired. This. I'm hanging on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> so rocket ship was not a terrible guess. Oh, okay. Uh, now, can I ask, with this game that we're playing, can I ask like one question? Can I ask like one lifeline question? Yes. Okay. Now, is this what we're talking about today found in outer space? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is it an asteroid? No, that's a good guess, though. Ah, how many guesses do I get? Three? This is your third and final guess. Is this, this has to be, what are, what is it called when they send, send like, um, cameras up in space? Is that what this is? Molly. Max. You are so close. You're so close. It's a, say it's it. A, you want to say it's it. It's a satellite dish. <gasps> For my so TV. Close. <laughs> so close. So close. It's a shuttle rocket. This is a shuttle, shuttle rocket scientist. science camera. <laughs> Um, okay, so think of actually that thing about that. It's a shuttle rocket science camera, but it has a proper name, and I know you know the proper and I, name. And you know that I know the proper name. Okay, can I ask you, you know. a fun question? Yes. I know I'm out of questions, but this is kind of okay. just. Is, are question. there any bands that are named after this thing? I have no idea. Maybe we start one later. Okay. Interesting. Okay. okay, because you know I've always wanted to be called the satellite. <laughs> I'm going to be called the radars. Ooh, that's a better that's a better band name. Um, okay, you are out of guesses. Today's topic I want to teach you about the Hubble Space Telescope. It's a scientific melody. It's the scientific melody. Dee -dee -dee scientific melody with Molly and Max. <laughs> I should have guessed that because I we were around back then. The um, Hubble. The Hubble Bubble. Space Telescope. The Hubble wow. Space Telescope first went into outer space in the year 1990 on April 24th. I didn't Now, know. I did I I could tell you if this were a um if I were on a game show on TV, I would have heard of Hubble and I should know more about it, but I would love to know what it actually did and why it went up and is it still there? Yes, it is still there. What? It's been there. My I'm older than the Hubble telescope, but almost my whole life it's been up there. Almost every yeah. single day. Every I feel like minute. the Hubble the Hubble went in around probably the same time you started on solids. Probably, As a baby, yeah, toddler. that's probably accurate. I was mm -hmm. rocking those, uh, the, the little, the little glass jars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah, the Gerber. Peas. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. 
Um, yes. So the Hubble telescope was put into space on April 24th, 1990. Wow. Um, and the reason I found this out, the reason that we have it is because, so think about when you go outside and you look up and you can see the moon mm -hmm. just standing there from your front porch. Yes. So you think, well, why do we need something in space if we can just see space from our front yard? True. I can see it all every night. I know. But think you can't see that far, though, huh? Oh, you know what? And I am farsighted, but not even I can see that far. Yeah, you can see farther than anyone I've ever met, but even you I, can't see that far. I uh, can't see that far. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. The reason is because the Earth is surrounded by a layer of gases that make it difficult to see through. So scientists were like, well, what if we put a camera on the other side of those gases? I wonder how far we could see then. So I'm surrounded by gases after my mom makes pasta night. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So it's on the other side of gases because you know what? I forget gases are a huge part of the It is what our solar atmosphere system is. The Earth's atmosphere is made of gas. That's amazing. But yeah, it is 43 feet long. It weighs 24,000 pounds. It's the size of a school bus, just to put that in perspective. Isn't that crazy? What? That is crazy because did you ride a school bus when you were little? I did. I did as well. My bus driver in the second grade, I really felt that he was a nice guy. His name was Mr. Sloan, S-L-O-A-N, Mr. Sloan. And on the last day of school, I wouldn't see him. I went to a different school for second grade, so I would never see him again. I got him a little cardboard um, M&M's holder, and I filled it with M&M's, and I gave him a gift. Oh, that's really yeah. sweet. I hope he's still doing well. Wait, I think we have a caller on the line. <gasps> Wait, hang on. What? Hang on. I think we have Mr. Sloan on the line. No. Yes. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Can we talk to him? Hey, is this Molly? <gasps> Mr. Sloan. Hey, little Molly. <laughs> little Molly. How you doing, little Molly? I haven't talked to you since I was in the second grade. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Still eating those M&Ms. Oh, my. And they are staying. That means that they are. there's a lot of preservatives in an M&M. &M. Absolutely. <laughs> I also, though, I ended up on a telescope somehow so i've been floating around the earth for the last 30 wait years. whoa 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 you're telling me that you are on are you is your telescope called hubble yeah that's the <gasps> name no yeah. i got it Ma max are you still here yeah this is wild this <laughs> i can't believe this what are the odds this, this is, is like full circle out of the literally out of this world seriously literally out of this world is he still with us sense? or did we lose him oh uh, no i still here. <laughs> Mr. Sloan, what did? How did you get up there? What? What well, is? I think because they, uh, I was on the school bus and I was really good at driving the school bus, and so they thought, hey, if you're so good at driving the school bus, hop on this telescope, Mr. Sloan. It's the same size. Oh my gosh, that it, it is. It is. That the is crazy. Same size. That did is they crazy. even paint? I have a question though. Did they paint it yellow to make no, you feel cozy? Oh no, it's covered in mirrors. Oh, really? Is yeah, that true? Yeah, this is actually true. Mr. Sloan is right. The Hubble telescope has huge mirrors attached to it. That's how it collects energy. What? And that's how it's able to reflect the light from <laughs> from stars and planets and different so you're crazy telling stuff me, across the galaxy. You are telling me that if I ditch the clothes and just put on a bunch of mirrors on my body and I walk outside, not only will I not need to drink coffee because I'll get my energy, but then I could also see the stars brighter? I would probably not recommend that. <laughs> okay, I yeah, guess Molly, I'll stick with my clothes. Do that. These are really, really high-tech special mirrors. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, uh, Mr. Sloan, thank you so much. This was so cool to talk to you, and I hope that the M&Ms stay fresh. Mr. Sloan, thank you for your service. Ah, oh, little Molly. It's great to talk to you again. So great to talk to you. Be safe that up was, there. That was crazy. That was, that was crazy. how did you know that he was, did you know he was going to call? I did not. No, I did not. Wow. Wow. He must have like a really good connection up there. Yeah. So the Hubble Space Telescope is super cool. It has seen things 10 to 15 billion light years away, which is crazy. 
crazy. And the really cool thing is that in 2021, so last year, scientists mm -hmm. actually launched a brand new telescope called the James Webb Space Telescope. And it is bigger than the <gasps> Hubble. It is stronger than <gasps> the Hubble. And it will be able to see things so, so much, much farther, farther away. away. You might call it the double Hubble. They should have called it the double they Hubble. Should have, they should have called me. Also, I hope Mr. Sloan is no longer listening because no, we still want him to know that he's important. Absolutely. No, he's, he's, he's back in space. He's back in space. Okay, good, good, good. Well, that is so cool. So they just wanted to up the game. They were like, well, it's like when the, the iPhone comes up with the bigger, better iPhone. It's going to do the same thing, just a little better. This is the Hubble Space Telescope 2.0, and it is called the James Webb Space Telescope. I don't know who James Webb is, but he must be a pretty important guy. I don't know. He might be a spider. Oh, no. Because <laughs> of the web. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-four thousand pounds, forty-three feet long. The Hubble Space Telescope's the reason for this song. First launched in April of 1990, and that's about as old as Max and Molly. Eight-foot mirror snaps pics light years away. It's powered by energy from sun in the day. It has discovered 5,000 galaxies, and that's a lot of counting for you and me. It orbits the Earth at 17 kmph, that's 17,000 away. 24,000 pounds, 43 feet long The Hubble Space Telescope's the reason for this song First launched in April of 1990 And that's about as old as Max and Molly Edgeworks Nebula